we will be cooking a uh, eel today we got a very nice eel piece and they look uh, very nice and very fresh and we will cook that that's it that is the cut pieces of the eel looking great we are going to temper the um pericric seeds and you can see that the splattering uh, seeds and uh, then now we are going to uh, adding the dry chili and the curry leaves and when you add the curry leaves you know it always makes a show because the curry leaves are slaughtered with them and, then, and So we are adding the onion and mix with them and temper them. Uh, oh, yeah, now we are adding the garlic. So what we do is, you know, we are making the dry, uh, the green spices, uh, make a tempering, and also we are adding some the cumin seeds and the turmeric powder. Uh, um, sorry. Um, Now we are adding some fennel seeds. We are adding the salt now, the onion we are becoming transparent and also we are going to add the roasted uh, chili powder and then uh, we will be adding the roasted uh, curry powder too. The chili powder and the curry powder are homemade. We make them uh, so we blend to our taste so it's a London Japna taste and uh, we are adding a mango green mango pulp um, so now we are going to add the water we are going to make this as a um, a little bit of uh, sticky and dry curry so that we are not adding too much of water and we are going to add some tomato juice now and then uh, we will be adding uh, a coconut milk Coconut milk is all day for part of the cooking the curry. So we will let this boil this uh, uh, curry base. Now we have made the uh, curry base. So based on the curry base that we we'll let it boil. And uh, so once it boils then we will be adding the eel pieces. The gravy has been become thick and creamy now we are adding the eel curry because our intention is to cook the eel curry uh, yeah um, eel fish uh, thick and creamy um, so look great and uh, we are soaking the eel fish pieces into gravy and uh, so that uh, they will cook in the uh, sauce and uh, it, while they are cooking slowly they release the, the taste from the fish to the gravy and then it becomes thicker and 
The eel fish curry is nearly cooked. It's bubbling now. Thicky and creamy eel curry has been um, completed and they look fantastic. You can see how uh, thick they are, the gravy. One of the, you know, uh, test is to show you, you know, when you touch on the uh, finger, you can see that, you know, how they are sticking to it. Thank you very much for watching this uh, eel fish curry and appreciate your subscription to our YouTube channel. Thank you.